Hi, I'm Arashim from Atoll Web Tech, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to build this basic web application using ES6 classes. And um, as you can see, it's relatively simple. Um, there's not really much about here. We are just writing the code um, using pure JavaScript. And um, so let's let's see how it works. If for some reason I didn't put title, auto, and ISBN, and it, the submit button, you see we have a flash message. Please fill in the feeds. Please fill in all feeds. So if I should input a book, HTML, Five, supposing I'm the author of the book, I received an ISBN. Just type in. So this is book title, and then um, we had a different book. CS63. Author, let's use a popular author, John Doe, and um, ISBN. It's the summit button, so book added. So I, we can easily remove the book. Booked, removed, and um, booked, removed. You see, it's, it's quite simple, but it's a, it's a way to give you a head, head, head start to, to kickstart your journey in JavaScript for those of us that's learning JavaScript. So this is the UI, which is the front end. So this is our basic HTML code. So what is, what is happening here is quite simple, though I'm just using the framework here, which is a skeleton um, framework, which you can get from, yeah, which is, um, Skeleton CSS, right? Yeah, which you can get from Get Skeleton. It's a responsive CSS boilerplate, but I'm using the CDN, which you can um, copy from, which you can get from this popular website, cdnjs.com. So I just copied this link uh, tag from here, and that is it. So I paste it in my add section in the HTML. And we have there of a custom style that's responsible for our validation of and validation that display um, this message as please fill in the all feeds and when the book is successfully had added so you can you also see a flash message that state that yes um, book added so this is what is responsible this is the style that's responsible for that so I have a two class that of sources and hero sharing um, some little properties here and there of the background which is green and there of um, there of herald which is red and I have in my container I have a class of container I have it in a dev I have a class of container and the h1 and add a book which is what you see right here and also for that of the form there's an ID an attribute ID of book form which we're going to use later um, in our hub in our code and um, secondly, we have the, for the label, which is for this title and this input, we so have a idea of title, and we are using the skeleton class now, which is u dash foo dash width. Those of us that knows how to use um, and bootstraps, you understand what this um, just similar, just similar. So it's a class from um, skeleton, skeleton CXS, and um, also we have that for the auto. And with an ID of auto and highest being hand, and we also have the submit with the value of submit. And I'm also using the class, the class here. And um, for that of the table, for that of the table which has a class of from skeleton CSX, and also we have the table here, title auto ISBN, which is what you've seen here, title auto ISBN, and this is just for reference purpose. And we also have for the body have an ID of book list. And we're going to generate our table row and table data is from using JavaScript. And finally, which is last but not the least, I'm just referencing our script, which is this code right here. The logic begins from here. So we have two classes, our book and UI, the UI class. In the book class, we have a constructor that accepts three parameters, title, auto, and highest being. So we're using this. Yeah, so this title pertaining to the title and of auto and high SBM. So for those of us that don't know what is a constructor and what this is, so you can check it out in W3 School. They have a comprehensive tutorial there. So the UI class is where we're going to spend some of our time. So we have a couple of methods here. We have that of add book to list method that accepts one parameter. 
we have the, the show alerts responsible for the flash messages. And um, we have um, are of the delete book and the cleared feeds. feeds. So let's begin with all of these events listening here. So if we had if we had a couple of um, values here and we hit the submit button so this is what's going to happen so we'll hit the submit button so we want to grab in this this test over here which is this value over here right so to do that we want to list in for whenever this submit button is clicked i think it's time for me to split this screen so when this submit button is clicked so we want to list in to it so that's what happening here so document that get element by id the book form so we are pertaining to this um, element here, this element right here. So we are we want to work with this element. So we are using the ID here, which is the book form. This is what we're grabbing in here. Document or get element by ID book form. And we're adding an invent listener to it, which is what wants to list in our listing for is submit. So when the submit is clicked, so we have a function which takes in a parameter of event. And also we are prevented the default of happening. You can check it out in um, w 3 risk as well, what that is. But what it does is actually prevent the default from happening. So so to, to get this value, this test right here, we are creating a constant variable of title, auto, and ISBN. So we're using document or get element by ID, title, auto, and ISBN with dot value append to it. So that's why we have a attribute of ID with a title, auto, and ISBN. So this values, which is this part, these values here now, they are not stored in these variables right here. So again, we are instituting um, the the book class. So book, we have new book, new book, and we're passing this the values now. The title, the author, the highest being that is, that is being entered here, right here, as a parameter to this R class right here. So that 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 is what is happening over there. And um, yeah, so also we are we are also instituting um, our UI class. So now we create a constant variable UI, new UI. So what is happening here? This is our validation. Let me quickly touch this so if there is nothing in these feeds there's nothing in this feed if the title is empty or the author is empty and and the ISBN also is empty so we want to call our error um, error method so we are using since we have already instituted our our UI class so we have this variable now UI dot show alert to assess our our method to assess this allowed method which is this this show allowed here method so we, we so remember I want to receive two parameter the message and of the class name so in here we have the show alert we are calling the show alert and the message is please fill in all feeds and the error which is the class name and remember, we have in our custom style sheet, we have our of the error, which have class name also here. Yeah. So this is what is happening over here. Let me explain this. What happened? What actually happened here is when we pass in our message and the class name. So here yeah, wants to create wants to create a an HTML element using um, JavaScript. So what we want to create now is dev. I think I have to demonstrate this for you so that you see it very well. So if I should inspect this element now and click that of the body, the the dev. So see if I should hit this buttons, this hit this button. So we are expecting please fill in our feed. This validation message to show. So when it hits it, we have please fill in our feed. See what see what happened? It will disappear within three seconds. See, we have a dev with a class alert. A lot and error of error, please fill in off it, which will disappear within three seconds. And let me launch it back the code. Let me split the screen. So we are creating that dev. We are creating the dev. Um, we are creating that dev I just showed you, and um, which is constant dev as the variable document dot create element wants to create an HTML element which is dev. 
So now I want to add class now to the element we create. We have created, right? So to create a class, we use the variable which is dev dot class name. In this, we are adding class of alert, and which is the the class name which we receive, which is from which is from here, which is error, right? And um, so we have a class of alert now and that of m. Um, and of hero, right? So now, now in order for us to insert that test, which is please, uh, please fill in our feeds or book hard it successfully, we, we want to create a, a a node, a test node. So to do that, we're using the dev dot append child, which is document dot create test node, which is the message we receive. The message we receive is book hard it successfully depends. And also, we're going to in our container, which is which is we all wants to insert that test. So check it out. We have a container here. We have this container. I want to insert it. Wants to insert it in above the form, which is above this form. So it will be it will be here, right? So we wants to insert it here. The new dev we have just created just created so right now it wants to target the container which is this class here so that's why we're using um, the container document or query selector so we're using the query selector now which is dot class and the class name which is the container which is what we have in here this container and um, what else so we want to get the form also remember I wants to put it wants to put it above the form so we're getting the form the form also document or query selector um, we get in the form with um, the form attribute, which is book form here, and um, then we want to insert it before the form, right? So we are using the container, which is this container, container dot insert before uh, insert this, which is the dev we just created, and also we have the test before this form, so that is why it is it's possible for us to see this validation right in here. So after three seconds, I want you to disappear. So that is what we're using. So we're using that's what we that's what we're doing here. So we're using set timeout function document a query selector, which is the alert to remove it because it wants to remove it, right? So if I should um, comment this hard now save and it's the summit you see it will stick here it's been removed so in order for us to remove it so we're using this document dot query selector dot alert we are targeting out of the alert remember we create we create this uh, we create the alert which is this alert this alert uh, class which we created so we're using the alert and dot remove we're removing it with the alert classes yeah so if I should inspect this element now we found out that we have we have a class of alert and error of herald. So alert of and error of herald. So that is what is happening here. So we wants to use the alert now to remove this particular test to make it disappear. So that is what is happening over here. There's nothing much about it. And and that is it for that is it for that. So let's go down to our event listing now to show a lot message which I just explained or s if there's if you have a parameter here if there's a parameter here so we want to call the add book method so we are passing the book we are passing this um, this this book this book here in here so we just call the, the method in the UI class so in that in this which is hard book to list we're passing the book which is an object now which is an object now so in that object we want to create it in an HTML element also to display it here to insert this um, this list right here so to do that it's quite simple so we create a list a variable a constant variable of list document dot um, get element by ID which is the book list this book list we have right in here this book list here and um, 
now we want to create a row which is document or create element tr which is what we want to create to display this tr here so and secondly we are using in, we are using in that row we are using an inner html with a template literal here to create a td to we already created the row so wants to inside in the row wants to put in the data which is the td remember we receive an object so that object will receive so we can assess with with book the title and book the author and book dot is isb hand so also we have our link for the delete which is here it's a class of delete so that is that and um i think that is it so when that is done we also have um the ui dot show a lot so we are passing the book headed which has a message and sussex and remember the background of sussex is is that of green yeah which just happened yeah i don't know why this is I just stick here right here. I think I have to I have to save this. So if I should save this, it will disappear. And um, so we are just calling the show a lot with a, a message of book. Uh, no. So I'm just um, calling the show a lot with a message of book added and with that of the sources class. And also we are clear, we, we, are, we are calling the clear feeds method also, which is quite simple. Document or get element by ID, title, author, and we're just setting the value to reset the value. So that's why when the book is added, this feed is erased. It's because of this clear feed method that is right in here. So and um, what what next? So for that of the delete, for that of the delete, um, Method. We also need an event listener. Let me have a look. So we need an event listener for that of the delete. So for that, we want to document or get element by ID, which is the book list. This book list here. And um, we are we want to add an event listener of click. Also, remember we are um, preventing the default by using an invent prevent default. And um, what next now is we want to instantiate our UI again. So UI new UI. So to delete the book, we're going to use a target. So we are we are calling a method using our UI delete book, and we're passing the the, the event with the target parameter, which is when we click in this um, button right here. So this delete method is, where is it? The delete. So we are receiving our target. Then if our target or class name is equal to, to delete, and which is true because in here we have the class name which is delete. So we are targeting that. So if it is equal to true, so we have the target or parent element or parent element dot remove. So um, what is actually happening here is that we are moving up twice. Let me show you inspect so we have in our body our dev so we have in our table which is yeah which is this so to remove let me go so to remove all these section which is this tr which is this tr so we, we want we want to move up twice we wants to target twice the element so which is it wants to target the parent element here we want to target the parent element we are which which in, wants to target this parent element to remove everything here which is to remove this book so one we, we are in this place now wants to 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 remove that of the first which is the parent and second which is this also wants to delete it delete the element to remove it totally so that's exactly what is happening over there So after that is being called, also we we show a lot that book book removed. We show we, we show we show a lot with a with a message book removed and Sussex. So that is it, and thank you very much for listening, and see you in the next lecture. Remain blessed. God bless you.